I'll start with you, Sean, because you seem very eager to talk about this. I'm topic. not eager. I don't. I like to go into Friday smooth. I don't want the the Cowboys mafia uh, to sit there. I'm not. Don't even name the people because I don't want to give them more attention. I, when I see them in person, I'll give them plenty of attention. Oh, uh, since they like to type and tweet so big and bad. If I ever see them, if they ever get a credential to the things Whoa. that we go to. Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's finally freaking Friday, and the weekend is upon us. I'm going to be doing some work, of course, as soon as I get finished with my morning video here. I'm going to get back to my day job. And I'm going to do things a little bit different this morning um, than usual because the Cowboys, <laughs> the Cowboys can wait. Uh, we got the same shit with the Cowboys. It's a shit storm as always. We know Jerry Jones ain't signing anybody of free agents. And we partially know why, because, of course, they don't want to lose their comp picks. Two, they feel that being talked about makes them relevant. And in some regards, when you think about how we had a dynasty of New England with, what, six Super Bowls? When you think about all of the teams that were ringless or had never been to a Super Bowl or an NFC championship since the last time we went. You, you remember the Rams got good? Came the greatest show on turf, won a Super Bowl, got bad for a number of years, went to another Super Bowl, and then won another one, got bad, and are back in the playoffs. In the same spot, the Cowboys, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Cream Sickles. They won a Super Bowl with a great defense, became the laughing stock again, and won another Super Bowl. The Green Bay Packers. Title Town USA came back in vogue with Brett Favre winning one and Aaron Rodgers winning one. We've even seen the Arizona Cardinals go to a Super Bowl. We've seen all of these things happen and the Cowboys haven't done squad douche. Okay? So nothing's changed with the cowboys it's it we can talk we can talk around in circles we we have literally a team that screws up contracts won't bring in any more help and literally the only thing you hear about is how bad the quarterback is the, all the blame goes on the quarterback instead of people holding jerry jones accountable now the clip I paid in the beginning there, and this isn't, you know, Sean and RJ and them, they're not the first ones to kind of come after people like me, okay? And let me explain to you guys how hard this is. is. And, and I'm not, you know, people say, well, you could never work for ESPN. I don't have any aspirations of working for ESPN. I started doing this because there was so much bullshit that I saw from the ESPNs when it came to Tony Romo. That instead of looking at holistically all of the problems they had, here it is, Tony Romo's had more comeback victories than anybody else. And they say he's a choker. And that's how I got started. That and I was fortunate enough to be able to do some really cool things that I thought would be cool to share with others. I never had any aspirations of getting here and getting 100,000 subscribers and things. In fact, I used to couldn't speak in public. I stuttered. I'd get scared to death. Now, I kind of crave it. 
I, I honestly kind of crave it. It's like, Mark, you just need to shut up and let somebody else talk. But if you think this is easy, it's not. Because you get a lot of shit. And the funniest thing is, some of the people that give you the most shit are keyboard warriors that aren't doing shit themselves. As Denzel Washington says, those who can do, those who can't, talk about the people who can. So can you or can you not? That's one of my mafia people right there. DMV. So when I heard him, Sean, say that, and of course he called us morons, you know, the morons out there. Um, and I've heard people say about, you know, you're in your mama's basement, you know, yeah, you're, you're nobody. You haven't gone to journalism school and things like that. But, you know, there's some of the richest people in the world that don't have college degrees. In fact, there's some of the brightest people in the world that are dyslexic. And see, here's the thing. I will never denigrate somebody for trying, for trying to get outside of themselves and so that's where I did my Cowboys Mafia video. Got my wife. We've got a sublimation machine, so it's great because we can be creative. And in a matter of, you know, minutes, we could actually do a shirt. So we did the whole Cowboys Mafia. So I actually have to thank Sean and RJ for calling us Cowboys Mafia. Because here's the thing that's kind of interesting is we're nobodies. Okay, we're nobodies, right? Uh, we're our mama's basements. We're, we're just YouTubers and things. But it's kind of funny because they're all coming to YouTube now. How are you going to come to a platform and then denigrate everybody who's been here? How do you think that you're supposed to just be king shit because you arrived and haven't put in the work? And if you think it's hard, I mean, easy that you just because I've heard people, it must be nice to just sit there and collect, you know, that YouTube money and, you know, not work a real job. This shit is hard. This is hard. And you have people that come after you. Hell, I've had people douse not only me, but my 80 year old parents, my in-laws, my family members. People who have done crazy shit, which to me tells me that you're striking a nerve. You are making a difference. And so I did that last night to say to all my brethren out there, I got your back, man. I understand where we are. And to put it out there, how big we really are. And shout out to my man, Jay Tuck, because Jay Tuck, man... He's been the one, see, you got to understand, Jay Tuck, radio personality, is killing it on Twitter. And that's where some of the people start getting a little bit, you know, hmm, this guy's kind of getting some people, you know, it's kind of, yeah, they're getting a little worried. But Jay Tuck got emotional last night. Yo, what is up, fam, man? So I know it's late. Like, Tuck, you're damn near dropping a video at midnight, and sometimes I just got off final word show salute to my final word family um but i'm inspired i i inspired kind of cut off guard but you know i'm gonna be fully transparent man like being a content creator even though some of us make it look good and luxurious and glamorous man it's no easy task i know a lot of people mm -hmm. want to kind of get into what you know some of us do it's not easy man it's a lot of sacrifice it's a lot of frustration it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it we get a lot of hate a lot of criticism but we make that sacrifice because we love it right i love the dallas cowboys i love this team man it's all it's all i know you know what i'm saying like this is not something i have to work at to talk dallas cowboys football it's something that's just in me since i was a small child like i love it i bleed it y'all see my emotions y'all see my highs my lows and by me being able to share my passion with the world has created so many different opportunities for me and completely has changed my life. And I've done things that I never thought was possible. But to be honest with y'all, man, I've been villainized. 
I've been criticized. I've been threatened. I've been mocked. I've been, you know, I received death threats. I received all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, me personally, it doesn't get to me because I know that if it has to go there, I'm ready to go there. But my thing is, it shouldn't have to go there. I shouldn't be villainized and talked about in secret group chats and secret office visits and all this type of stuff back door just because I'm sharing my love and my passion for the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. So that's why you guys constantly see me fighting. You constantly see me fighting and, you know, going this and going that. Go, I, mean, I don't want to do that, right? But as a man, you have to protect your name. But what is happening, and I'm extremely thankful for it, is my brothers and sisters in this community are saying, no, Tuck, we're fighting with you. And I don't know, y'all. I'm trying not to get emotional, but it means a lot to me, y'all. You know, I I give my all to this, man. Yes, this is, seriously. You know, and I'm tired of fighting. I can't fight all these battles by myself. And to see my brother BJ Nix come to my defense, he's the world of me. To see Mark Holmes come to my defense, means the world of me, man. Boss Cowboy, come to my defense. Watch, you know, my counterparts, you the subscribers, y'all are fighting with me. Cause y'all know the work that I do. Y'all know my heart. Y'all know the effort. Y'all know that I love this team, hey, right man. or wrong. As frustrated as I am with this team, y'all, I'm still gonna be there. I'm still, I'm still gonna be out there because I love this team and I love y'all. But it gets to the point where it wears you down, and That's I'm no tired bullshit. of fighting for doing nothing wrong, for voicing my opinion and my concerns about a team that I traveled the world for, that I follow for. You know, it's frustrating. Because I've done nothing but to help this team. That's all That's all that I'm after. I'm not after the money. I'm not after the fame. I'm not after any of that. I want to win a Super Bowl, period. Amen. That's my ultimate goal in this. That's the reason why I'm doing this. And so I've been slandered through the mud, talked about. My family's been talked about. So I'm always in defense mode. I'm always in defense mode, right? And that takes away from my creativity. Like, can you imagine battling with a fucking radio station that I'm not even in their town for no reason when I was minding my business, hanging out with my children, playing video games, I'm getting slid on the radio for no fucking reason. And then try to come down here and present draft film, it takes away from my mental. It takes away from my creativity. It takes away from my superpowers that I do an incredible job better than a lot of people. And I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of it. And I was wearing down to the point where I've told numerous people, I can't do this anymore. I want to do something different. When I dropped the J Tuck podcast yesterday with Vach, I was free because I could just talk and have fun and enjoy making content like I did from the very start when I started this channel. But I was down, frustrated, felt like giving up. I even put it on Twitter, like, listen, y'all want this shit so bad, you can have it. I'm done with it. And when I'm down and couldn't feel like I couldn't go anymore, my brother Mark Holmes grabbed me by the collar and said, get up, <laughs> That's what it's about, let's man. go. There you go. Let's keep marching. We're, we're with you. My brother, Boss Cowboy, picked me up by the collar. Mm -hmm. Come on, Tuck, keep pushing. West Coast, keep pushing. DMV, Rome, everybody, come on, Tuck, get up. Aisha, Get up, Tuck. Keep pushing. We're fighting for something bigger than this, and we need you. Amen. You are the leader. As, as young as I am in this game, I'm able to blend in and do a lot of things that some people can't. I've been blessed, and I'm a leader. And the phone calls and the support from you guys, it sparked something in me, man. It's sparking something with me, and as frustrated as I am, I know now, thanks to Mark Holmes, Thanks to my brothers and sisters once again, Law Nation, everybody. And you guys know who you are. I apologize for letting anybody out. You guys have sparked me. And I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to kneel. I'm not going to give people what they want is for J Tuck just there to go, go away. Because I know that's the easiest route. If I just faded, 
did something else and become an afterthought. But nah, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, you're not going to silence me. I'm not going to play by your little games. I'm going to continue to do me. And here's the way I'm going to do me. I'm going to continue to climb. Yeah, I'm going to continue to climb. I'm going to continue to climb. And I'm going to build my brand to the way it's never been built before. To the point where if I talk, everybody shuts the fuck up and listens. That's where we're about to get to. It's about to get real scary, right? And not only is it going to be me, you're going to see my brothers and sisters alongside with me. And we are going to show everybody that we are talented and people rock with us. Not because we're just some YouTubers. It's because we have worked our asses off, made sacrifices, nights, long nights, early mornings, right? Five-hour Twitter spaces, six-hour draft shows, doing draft books and draft Excel sheets and teaching. We've been putting in the work. That is our superpower and it's time that the world feels our superpower. And I'm about to give everything I got to this. Y'all Amen, bro. To help that happen. Oh, and help my there brothers you and go. sisters do the same. There you go. And let everybody know we're not going anywhere, man. So thank you again to everyone, man. Like I said, it's kind of an impromptu video. Go watch Mark Holmes's video, man. <laughs> thank you, my brother, man. I, Cowboys Mafia, man. Thank you guys. Thank you. Because I get tired. Of, I feel like I'm always the bad guy. Like I'm tired of fighting. Not the bad wanna, guy, I man. I just want to come on here, laugh with y'all, talk football, do some draft stuff, you know, and just do what I do best. But it's hard to do that where I get a thousand tweets from media. And this is not the trolls. Like the trolls and all that stuff. That's, That's cool. different. These are in-house <laughs> media people, radio people, writers for, you know what I'm saying, the prestigious article, uh, newspapers and all. You guys are coming at me. But why are you coming at me? I finally understand. You realize you can't fuck with me. Whoa. Spitting fire out there, man. Cowboys Mafia. Now, listen, you may like me or not, but that doesn't matter because there's there's what, eight billion people in the world. There's so many incredible Dallas Cowboys creators that are out here and putting in the work. You know, when you get trashed by guys that are out there, I get it. We don't have all of the advantages that you guys have where you've got tons of money and this is your only job. We're working and busting tails with putting food on the table and doing this as a side gig, trying to learn and grow. And I think we're making some waves. But when I start thinking about all of the great content creators, because see, what you have to understand is, is this. Some of the work that's been done here on YouTube has been groundbreaking from Shango who was the originator. He's the real OG. I didn't know shit about YouTube until I started talking to Michael and he kept talking about Shango. And when you see Baldy's breakdowns and stuff, that shit started with Law and Vash. Seriously. Live streaming? That, that shit started out 2016. Me and Law Nation, okay? Now, I have crossed paths with my man, Jay Tuck. And it's funny how things happen in life. Because, see, Jay Tuck and I met, our crossroads was 2016 in Chicago at the draft. I wish I still had my old channel because that's where a video of Joe Boo interviewing Jay Tuck in 2016. And at that draft was the draft that Dak Prescott got drafted at. And I have watched Jay Tuck just grow and grow and grow. He's huge, huge in things. And I'm proud as hell of him to see my man Law Nation doing what he's doing, seeing Vosh becoming, damn, that wind is hitting. Uh, see Vosh with, you know, Colin Cowherd and everything else and getting the recognition and things. But I also see 
other people that are putting in work and effort, you know, from Cowboys Cave and stuff, you know, they're bringing on some of the legends, some of those guys that earned those five rings that you guys don't know anything about. I see a guy like Game Time Brian who is doing videos on his way to work and taking his lunch out half hour instead of eating, bringing you content and things, helping us all get through the day and stuff. And the thing that I, I, I like to think of myself when they say OG, oh, I think of old guy. And by old guy, a lot of people say, you're not old, but it's like, listen, I'm not disrespecting myself. I've just seen a lot of things. Back in the day, it was like, if you didn't like something, okay, you just moved on. You didn't have to have a need to trash somebody for what they're doing. This whole thing of people that constantly, you know, when I did that video last night, it was funny because I see all the haters. Well, what do you, you, you can't go into 105.3, the fan. They don't know who you are or this, that, and the other. The only way you getting in there is to clean the damn toilets and stuff. It's like, really? Is that necessary? And looking at that, I was like, damn, you know, I put myself out there trying to do something a little different here. Thought it was kind of funny and interesting and here it is you get all these hate and ass comments and stuff but really all i'm trying to do is support my brothers and when you start thinking about how many incredible content creators there are out there in cowboys mafia that's a lot of people that are watching and i think that's the problem with the traditional media. I'm not trying to be the traditional media. I'm trying to be Mark Holmes here on YouTube and have fun with it. I hope you guys have a great day and I appreciate you guys. And one thing I would like to do, the shirts, the Cowboy Mafia. Um, my wife's making those and any of my brethren out there who want to get one. Um, what I would love to do, because this is really the power that we have, is take your logo, and we put all those logos on that shirt, and show everybody how powerful all of us are. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys, and you know, this is not my day job. I got to get to my day job. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I appreciate all of the subscribers and all the supporters out here. And make sure you give love 